Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube? This is SCL0320. Uh, back at it again for a brand new open discussion. One, actually, I'm doing it on two different topics. Uh, I'll go with the first one because it's long overdue. As you all know, as y'all all know, the first, first look uh, picture of Henry Cavill in the brand new Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice costume of Superman has been released. Of course, everybody remember when I talked about uh, Batman and of course the Batmobile as epic as that shot looked. This in the rain just looked even deeper because it wasn't a black and white. This is just something just straight authentic, straight off the map. And when I looked at I looked online, matter of fact, I was on uh, Instagram and I was looking at uh, CK61938. Um, um, he's got a great YouTube channel. Go definitely check out some of his stuff. He's awesome. But I checked out, we were, we were on the same uh, Twitter and Instagram. And I saw Instagram, he had a picture of it. I was like, is this real or is this fan art? And so I looked deeper into it and I was like asking them and he didn't answer it immediately. So I looked online, sure enough, this is what I found. Um, the following is a look at Henry Cavill as Clark Kent. It was shown early this week by Wonder Brother Pictures revealed that the first picture of the Man of Steel in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice was shown on USA Today's website. And so I guess uh, with this, it's just a whole different level. This is what USA Today add that Dawn of Justice continues to immerse Superman on Earth by working with the Daily Planet as Clark Kent along with Lois Lane, played by Amy Adams, Perry White by uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, but it also takes him to a new environment such as Gotham City, introduces him to a larger threats including Lex Luthor, played by Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, the debuting heroes Superman meets will affect his perspective on Earth and on the ones that he loves. And Snyder feels that his convictions will dawn into the question as well. So this picture, if you look at it, and I'll go ahead and show y'all a clip of it right now. If y'all look at this actual clip that's going on right here, from the ground up, it just looks awesome. Like, I mean, even comparing it to the older one, uh, he looks a lot more toned. Like his facial structure is different. He looks a lot stronger. He's more beefed out. But even the costume, there are different variations to where the belt is, the lining of where his armbands are. It's totally different. But if you look at the backdrop of it, I mean, the fact is, he is in Gotham City. I mean, that's that's just where he is. And so the fact that he's in Gotham City, like, that just adds to the more epic moment that this is right now of having Batman and Superman in the same movie. Like, it's legendary. What up, Joe? What up, baby? What's good, man? Oh, you on YouTube? Yeah, I'm on nah, YouTube. The YouTube is real quick. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Sorry I'm not in this video, um, but we'll check y'all out later. How at your boy? Yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a busy man. Like, if y'all knew some of the stuff that we are up to, oh my gosh, y'all would not even believe it. Like stuff, science fiction stuff, acting roles. I mean, just it's epic. And so Joe is doing a lot of CG and uh, visual uh, film animation stuff right now. I've got so much on my plate as well. Worked on five different other projects and films. Matter of fact, if you look right here at this location right here, there's a link that you can go to that me and Joe, we've actually started work on a brand new production with a brand new production team with one of my associates, Deidre White. Um, so it's me, Joseph Johnson, and Deidre White is actually working with OOG Productions, and that's the name of it, uh, which I'll go into more later, um, but I, I did have to talk about that since Joe came up here. But going into this whole picture, it just looks epic. I mean, just the raindrops, it had a Sin City-esque feel to it, but it's got the grittiness of, like, what is the aftermath of the effects of what Henry Cavill Superman did at the end of the Man of Steel, you know? And the funny thing about this movie is that Batman v Superman is not technically the sequel to Man of Steel. There's gonna be a more follow-up movie, I think, that's gonna be released out in uh, 2018, I think, after the Justice League. If not, 2009, no, 2018, I know it is, because 2019 is gonna be the Batman reboot, which I don't understand how they're gonna do that. If they're gonna make, um, Ben Affleck portray like the older Batman. Why would you reboot the franchise and do it that way? Anyway, not gonna go into all that. But this picture just looked that epic. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
fast forward to today, there's brand new news that just came out today. Now, this isn't pertaining necessarily to the Man of Steel or uh, to Batman v Superman or Justice League, but it does have a character that played Superman, a man named Brandon Ralph. So it's been confirmed today that Brandon Ralph will be playing in Arrow. Season three will feature Brandon Ralph. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, they've made the announcement that Katana is going to be in Arrow. They brought Flash up. They brought other people that are going to be in the mix of this. But the fact that Brandon Ralph, who plays Superman, is going to be in Arrow, yo, I'm geeking out. <laughs> I'm geeking out. I, and the funnier thing is that he's playing a superhero. So the superhero that he's playing is gonna be the Atom. Now, I don't know a lot of the background of Atom. I'm not even gonna sit there and try to articulate it to y'all. But the fact that you have a man that, to me, when he played that role, when it first came out in 2006, I remember, like, I was living, I was like, I want to see this. I was like, I was in anticipation of it. I had every poster, I had every t-shirt, I was gung-ho ready. Now, a lot of people were disappointed by the movie. I understood where they were trying to go because it is a continuation of Superman 2. Like, the, like it's taking Richard Donner's vision of 2 and then adding on to it and showing what the continuation is after, spoiler alert, at the end of Superman 2, Lois forgets everything from a kiss. But yet, in Superman 2, they had sex and ends up producing a child. And that's what is everything going on with Superman Returns. But... I, I understood what he tried to do with it because if he would have done it and just paced it better as far as the scripting and just going ahead and added in the doomsday element of how he wanted to do that, I think that Brian Singer would have had a better vision. But he did better going back to, which we saw, X-Men Days of Future Past. <laughs> so I'm glad he's back at the helm with the X-Men movies as opposed to trying to do anything more with Superman. But that doesn't say that Brandon Routh did a bad job. I think that he did a great job with Superman. I thought that the look was epic. I thought that every flying scene that he was in, it, some of the flying scenes looked better to me than even it did in Man of Steel when he was Superman, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't necessarily blame Brandon Routh, but it's like everybody puts it on him that it was his fault with it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've seen since then, he's been in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which that is one of my favorite movies. Um, he's been in some movie called, uh, what was it, Bob, Bobby Dog something, I don't remember. It was some kind of weird movie. Um, but I felt so bad for him, but him to get this role as the Adam in the, um, the Arrow series, it's a big step up. So congratulations, Brandon Ralph, for coming back into... Um, the DC Universe in some capacity, even if the DC Universe on the TV is not going to be the same as the movies, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard, which I'll go into that later. But this is what I'll read from you from Superhero Hype. Fresh off the heels of a number of casting announcements for CW's Arrow, TV Line learned that the former Superman, Brandon Ralph, has been cast in the role of Ray Palmer, a.k.a. The Atom, for the upcoming third season of the series. The site reports that Palmer will serve as a love interest to Felicity, Felicity who is um, Oliver's associate slash love interest in my opinion. I ain't going on all that. Uh, as well as become the new head of Queen Consolidated. So I guess... Uh, a previous report casting also teased that it will be seeing Palmer suit up as a high-powered tech or a tech-powered superhero. Might we see Ralph riding a arrow as a microscopic version of himself? Sound off with any thoughts below. So, I mean, they add into that capable of shrinking. This is, this is what they talk about as far as Adam, what the Adam's capable of. Capable of shrinking and subatomic sizes. Ray Palmer is introduced in 1961 by Julius Schwartz, Garner Fox, and Jill Kane, um, a member of the Justice League and the Teen Titans at one point. <clears throat> the Arrow and Green Arrow actually share an adversary in Destro, played by, of course, the Arrow that we know. Um, but... I mean, it all fits, you know, but this is going to be um, an adaptation of that character. So there's no telling where they're going to go with it. But for them to take a character like that, to me, I count him as an iconic character. 
just the actor himself, for him to have played Superman and they put him in this role, come on, man. They, they are representing. So it's like they're doing all these great things when it comes to the TV and the cartoons. And they're making a good pitch with the, TV, with the, the movie franchise as far as the DC Universe. But why not bring everything in? Mesh it together. I heard a report today. And I was going to do a whole different review on this. But I heard a report today that... Um, Stephen Amell has said that he wasn't going to be in Batman vs. Superman. Now, I don't know how true that is because Jason Momoa said, swore up and down, that he wasn't. And to me, that kind of was like, he is. So I don't know if that's going to be the same for this. But at the same time, I know Warner Brothers, like, they have their own pitches of how they want to do stuff. And they want to try to do opposite of how Marvel is. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not take the time of using these characters that are being developed such as such as the Flash, such as the Green Arrow, even though they're different adaptations, but taking these characters and putting them into these roles so they can grow on a movie scale and then when it comes back to the TV show, see what happens with them. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't have to be a straight line version of how it's going to be on TV versus it being on movies. It can evolve into each other. Like if you want to do something different, Take what Marvel's trying to do with the Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. and make it even better, you know? And they, they, they're they more than capable of doing that. Now, I don't see why they have a choice. Like, I mean, they can't sit there and recast characters, you know? But anyway, but those two announcements, which are Superman related, I had to go into, I know that was a Superwoman reference. I'm sorry about that, Superwoman. <laughs> ah, Superwoman, definitely go check out her channel. She's awesome as well. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanted to talk about that. Coming up, uh, we've got an awesome, I cannot wait, Adele or Roll Credits, so be doing a collaboration with me. I can't tell y'all the topic yet, but it's going to be really awesome to do. Um, but yeah, take a look for that probably in the next week, if not the end of this week. Um, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. She's amazing. Like, she, she seriously is. Um wide movie knowledge i mean filmmaker but at the same time she she systematically reviews things like i i can go on rants and go into detail but the way she goes and it's a whole different articulate level but um but definitely look for that coming up soon and i look forward to showing y'all more uh, about some of the stuff we got coming up but i can't reveal it all right now so i'm gonna go and uh hope y'all have a blessed night blessed day blessed evening whatever this is SCL0320 signing out. Y'all have a good night. I'm sorry. Good day. Later. <laughs>